Good evening. There's a big police presence in part of Birmingham tonight where a man was killed and two others were injured in a confrontation that ended in a shooting. It happened about 7.30 last night when a large number of mainly young men began to gather in Sparkbrook. Shots were fired as fighting broke out around Farm Road. The area has been sealed off today while police investigate. Community leaders have appealed for calm. Here's Kath Mackey. A blue tent sits on a road in Sparkbrook in Birmingham, the scene of a multiple shooting and stabbing. The cordon extends right through to the busy Stratford Road. What exactly happened on these streets is still not clear, but it ended in the shooting dead of one man and two other men being shot and stabbed. The dead man's been named locally as Ikram Alahi, who was 32. Absolutely devastated to lose a loved one. He was a well-respected person in the area. He was well-known to people. He did his work, came on, gave his time to the kids, and he was a good gentleman. His family have put up signs telling people where they can pray, while police officers knock on door after door looking for information on a killing which has left many here shaken. He looked ble bleeding profusely. He was indeed bleeding, which was not a very good seem to look at. It's really sad, it's really hurt me because when I went past, like, I'm going to the neighbourhood office and it's like, whoa, what happened here? It's really bad. This area is known for things like this. Well, not like shootings and stabbings like this, but you know, there is quite a lot of violence around, but this is surprising, shocking. These streets around Sparkbrook are home to large Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Somali and Afghan communities. And the appeal has gone out for them to work with police to bring those responsible to justice. A plea endorsed by local councillors, residents and representatives from numerous religious faiths. After they met, a statement was read out on their behalf. They support the police in the investigations and urge calm and restraint in this difficult time. The community want to affirm that Sparkbrook is a vibrant and cohesive community. There's nothing, as far as we're aware, that would suggest that there's going to be any further outbreaks of violence. But we do have a solid police presence in the community um, and that locality, and we will continue to do that until we're absolutely sure that we've done what we can to reassure the community. Police say the men involved were Asian, but aren't saying who was behind the attacks or their motive. Five men have been arrested in connection with disorder. Kath Mackey, BBC Midlands Today, Sparkbrook. Thanks for joining us this evening. Coming up later in the programme.